So we're here at uh, TI here at CS 2019, and who are you? Hi, I'm Frank Moisio. I manage the DLP Pico business uh, here at Texas Instruments, and so we're really excited to share with you some of what we think are the coolest products here at CES. Um, if you're not familiar with DLP and you've seen a movie, then you've likely experienced DLP. Uh, so all the images that you see at the movie theater are created by DLP technology, and we've taken that technology and we shrunk it down to chips that are about this size. So at this size, you can do 4K? Yes, this is a, about the size of our 4K chip. And so we want to share with you first a little bit about the DLP portfolio of 4K, and then share with you some of the cool products that are enabled by our technology. So these are the chips you have on the market for the 4K market? Right, uh, so starting here on the left, uh, this device gets you to the brightest 4K images in the world. Uh, this is more than 4K, uh, this is more than, 6, 000, more than 4, thousand lumens. Here in the middle, these chips will get you above 1,500 lumens. And then here uh, on this side, what we're going to talk uh, mostly about is really getting you to the most compact 4K solutions with the most affordable price points. Uh, so, uh, so, so this is a 0.66, right? And this is 0.47? That's correct. And that, point, that 0.66 and that 0.47 is really the diagonal of the device in inches. Uh, so it gives you an idea of the differences in sizes. 0.66 inches here and 0.47 inches uh, there on the right. And you have a technology that just puts all the, f the 4K pixels on the screen? Right, you're actually seeing 8.3 million pixels on the screen, and you're seeing it come from really cool form factors. This is uh, a new product category that's enabled by DLP technology. Uh, it's called Screenless TV. Uh, this is a company uh, called Jimgo. Uh, they're shipping today in China. They will be shipping in the U.S. later this year but there are a number of different companies uh, coming out with products. So uh, this is potentially an affordable ultra short, core, short throw 4K. That's correct. Uh, the, and the ultra short throw technology allows you to place this unit pretty close to the uh, imaging surface. And so it allows you to get a, a really uh, compelling big picture experience with something that really blends into your ambient environment. Like a hundred inch or something like that? You can get, depending upon your ambient light conditions, you can get to various uh, screen sizes. So you'll see products from Hisense, from LG, from Xiaomi, from XGME, and you'll see at least 10 additional companies come to market in 2019, and then you'll see even more company, companies introduce products in the 2020 timeframe. I'm really excited to see more affordable 4K DLP projectors. I think it's maybe it's the, one of the most important things happening at CES. Yeah, we're excited by it too, and we're going to share with you some other cool uh, demos here. Uh, the next product we're going to share with you actually gets to the smallest 4K in the world. Nice, and this one also has a nice speaker built in. Is it possible to see it a little bit in action? Yeah, this has audio built in. So, uh... And coming to the US, coming to everywhere, right? It's for sale in China. Right, this is uh, for sale in China right now. It's coming to the US uh, mid-2019. Uh, nice, it's just so awesome that... Uh, and how, how is the experience of uh, when you, when, uh, you know, uh, people can use this for the home theater is just perfect watching all the TV uh, and just put it on the wall right I, I think most of the applications will be down in, in the consumer electronic space but this also could be used in an enterprise space uh, to show a, a business presentation as well so it's really quite flexible in terms of the number of different applications that it can be used in so the unit we just shared with you was uh, enabled by DLP 4K, but also uses laser phosphor illumination technology. Uh, this product here from Optima is the smallest 4K in the world. Uh, this uses LED illumination technology, and it kind of demonstrates the range of flexibility of, of different types of illumination that you can use with DLP technology. What we're really excited about with this product is if you look at the design of it, uh, there's a, a lot of this bottom portion of the product is audio. So we also believe you'll see smaller products and, and the uh, smaller 4K products as we go through 2019 from a, a number of different companies. Because some people like to experience audio from speakers that are elsewhere in the room, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be that's, in the projector. That's exactly right. There's yeah. a lot of flexibility in terms of how you can implement an experience. Uh, Optima has chosen to give you a, a singular uh, unit to uh, have that experience, but you certainly can have speakers that are uh, satellite to the unit. So this is very exciting. It means uh, 2019 will be more and more, uh, more and more compact 4K projectors, right? That's correct. You'll see more and more smaller form factors, more compelling 
uh, designs as we go through the year, and you'll still get to really bright, awesome, compelling pictures. So let's share uh, the experience of this product with you. Yeah. So with the sound... Let's get some big sound coming out. Right. that you'll look at, when you look at the image, it really looks like a three-dimensional image, right? Uh, con great contrast ratio, great vibrant colors. it there, place right, it right. on the wall. For example, if you're a gamer, okay, you could easily yeah. transport this to any room. It's very, very portable. You could take it anywhere, uh, have a gaming experience. If you want to watch a movie, you could do that. Uh, but what's great about it is that it's very, very portable, so you can have it in multiple different environments. You could even put it in your brief, uh, your, your, your bag and put it on the plane in the carry-on area. That's, you can carry 4K with you everywhere you go. And here's a uh very cool looking product. What is yeah, this? Yeah, this is a new product from a company called Puppy. It's called the Puppy Cube. And this really integrates interactivity with DLP technology. We shared with you before the kind of 4K device. This, de this product is actually using a device in this class. It's about that small. What's the resolution? Uh, this is HD resolution. <clears throat> and it uses basically a laser curtain which is in infrared energy and two IR cameras to do the touch, so it's very, very highly accurate touch. So let me take you through a couple of things right here. You can consider this your workspace or kind of your playground. Um, so we're first gonna go to more of a play or entertainment type application. Go to a virtual keyboard here. <clears throat> and so you can see, you can do a number of things with this, but you, what's also interesting is if you do 10, you can do 10 point touch. So it's multi-touch <clears throat> touch system. That's correct. So uh, anything that you, you can do multiple polyphonic sounds. It works on any that. table. It's not a special table. Right. It's just a white table. Yeah. Any table surface you can actually even flip the product over and project onto a wall. Uh, so any surface can become a it's display. It's better with a white table, right? But it doesn't really have to be white, but it's better with white. That's correct. It, the more neutral the color, the better the experience will be, but it could probably, it'll probably work with uh, darker surfaces yeah. as well. And so any so, Android app? Just So any Android app. So if you look at uh, going back to, let me take you back here to, okay, yeah, okay. So I'll take you back here and you can see there's a number of apps on here. There's gaming apps, uh, weather apps, but I'm also gonna take you to some of the conventional apps that you might use in a virtual tablet type of uh, world. So this is uh, Microsoft Word and so we can pull up a keyboard here and we can actually type in, uh, like we're just working on a tablet, but, but in a, a virtual space, much larger than a tablet. Nice. Uh, and then we can actually go also and surf things on the web. Uh, right now we're on ti.com uh, and we're talking about a lot of the products here, so that's why we're sharing this website with you. But let's say you wanted to learn more about the chipsets here, you can actually just uh, just click on, on uh, display and projection. That'll take you into the chipsets, into a lot of the reference designs, so that you can actually get started and actually build your own DLP. Uh, based products. This is an awesome use of Pico, right? To go down it, on the table with a touch. It's great because the whole beauty of Pico is that it's really small form factors and it gets you to display images anywhere, anytime, on any surface. And so this allows that and facilitates it. It's the first example of this that we're sharing with you, but you're going to see a number of new products happen with interactive capabilities like this and it's very, very exciting, I think, for, for everyone. And here's uh, another interactive touch projector right here. Yes, this is a new product from Bosch. It's essentially a kitchen appliance. Uh, it's intended to go underneath and mount underneath your cabinets and really create a, an amazing kitchen and cooking type of experience. So we're going to start here with just uh, this uh, first menu, which shows date and time and weather and things like that. But you can scroll this over. And you can say, okay, I want to, I want to basically cook this hot chickpea soup, and um, and so whenever we want to get more information around that, 
We can scroll up here, get more information. So it's just an Android so let's, computer, let's basically. Let's pull up here, and now we can get more information about this, this recipe, um, more information about what it is, what the ingredients are, and then we can uh, and then we can actually go get the recipe for it. So by hitting the start cooking area right here. Now we can go ahead and use this recipe to cook. So let me take you through a couple of other interesting things that this is capable of doing. Uh, you can actually come here and then control the other appliances in your kitchen. Um, and then finally, there's some applications here. So for example, if you cook a pie um, and you want to and you want to slice up that pie, and you want to basically slice it up into, and, and choose that you want, you've got a big party, and you want 16 nice. or 17 slices, and now you can basically use that as a, uh, a legend, put your pie on top and scale this to the pie size, and then be able to use this as a tool to be able to evenly cut the slices. Uh, in the Bosch booth, they're actually showing a steak, and then this will actually determine the volume of the steak, and that actually allow you to figure out, okay, what's the best way to go cook that steak? And so it'll provide that whole ingredient list for you. So you can analyze the size and estimate that, how much is there. That's correct. And so this is just, we showed you the prior interactive demo, this one from Bosch, and this is just the first of many uh, products that'll use interactivity to enhance our lives. That's awesome. So what do you have here? Okay, so this is a, a great new product category. Uh, you may be familiar with virtual assistants or smart speakers. Uh, what, uh, what this company, Umax, has done is basically they've added on-demand display to uh, the smart speaker. So now a new category called smart display is, has emerged. And uh, you can basically uh, talk to this like you would talk to a virtual assistant. So for example, we'll ask it the weather. Hey Google, can you show the weather in Las Vegas today? So you're going to see some delays here on um, on the uh, on the Wi-Fi that's in the Today system. Today in Las Vegas, it'll yeah. be clear with a forecasted high of 63 and a low of 39 degrees. Fahrenheit. And you can position this anywhere near right a wall now, or something. Right now, it's 57 and clear. Yeah, you can position this anywhere in, in a house. Um, and if you want to try a video, for example, you can say, "Hey, hey Google, play the Texas Instruments video on YouTube." So the sound that we were hearing is like atmospheric uh, sound? Yeah, there's... All right, here's the Texas Instruments on YouTube. All right. It's just playing so a, we'll, a we'll YouTube let this video. video come up, but yeah, there's a number of like ambient backgrounds. Hi, everybody. That you can set Welcome to CES yeah, 2019. We are going to showcase and. Nice. So you can see a number of different um, applications in here. You can bring up background displays, or you can shut it down and just use it as a smart speaker. So all of that is possible here, but. Uh, uh, we think this is a great new product in 2019. You're going to see a number of different manufacturers come uh, to market with products this year and then into 2020 as well. So really excited about it. And this is an HD resolution? This is HD resolution, right. And it can be really any resolution because DLP enables anything from sub HD all the way up to 4K. And so all of those resolutions are possible in a product like this moving forward. In fact, we are and what you see here is a pretty small form factor, but we do expect that to actually get even smaller over time. And the beauty of this is that the image is scalable, so it can actually be scaled to the ambient uh, environment that you're in. Yeah. Uh, and that's something that's very unique because you're getting a really relatively big picture experience from a really small uh, form factor product. So, so it's kind of like an information display. is not so much for watching movies, but it could be, but it's... No, you could absolutely watch movies on this. You could yeah. use it as an information display. You could watch movies. Uh, really, what if you want to bring up the scores of the game, whatever you want to do, you can do with this product. So it's un really unlimited. Ne hikari. Nani? Konnichiwa. So what is this? Uh, this is a new product from a company called Gatebox. It's a company out of Japan. And this, we showed you the smart speaker before. We showed you smart how they're adding displays to it. This takes that to kind of the next level. Uh, it's really a personal assistant. And so you can talk to, uh, talk to this uh, uh, humanoid uh, and you can actually tell them, tell them for example, I, I have an appointment tomorrow. I've got an appointment meeting. 
and she will send you a reminder of that meeting, and then she might even send you a text to say, how did that meeting go? So it just really takes the smart speaker area to the, to next, the, level. To the next level. It's like a, she's floating all the time, she's in a room, and she's ready to help. That's right? correct. Um, they used, uh, they're used using DLP technology. Uh, it's bouncing off a mirror and then onto a combiner. And then through this optical system, it looks like a 3D image floating in space. So you can see her from behind, from the front, everywhere. Yeah, that's correct. That's really awesome. Yeah, so this is now in Japan. Um, and so we'll see, uh, see uh, where this goes. Hey, so thank you, Nicholas. Thank you for taking the time to come see us here in the DLP uh, booth at Texas Instruments. So we shared with you some 4K products. We're going to see a lot more 4K. We shared with you some of the smart speaker, smart display now, uh, a new product category that's going to be taking off in 2019. And then we also shared with you some of these interactive displays. Uh, so it allows us to display on any surface, any time, and get to uh, interactive solutions. And so we're excited to see where the future is going to be, but you're seeing a glimpse of it now. And uh, and we'll look forward to seeing you again next year at CES.